Hello everyone. Hello and a merry merry Christmas. Merry Christmas everybody. Merry Christmas. Well, what a strange year this has been. This has been a very very strange year and in all my years I've never known a year like this one. And do you know why it has been such a strange year this year? It's because it is because of this snow coronavirus. No, Santa, coronavirus. I thought it was snow rona because we live in the snow. No, it has nothing to do with the snow. Oh. How many times have I got to tell you? Coronavirus. I'm wrong again, wrong again. I'm very sorry about that. Yes, but we've escaped a lot of it here in the North Pole, though because we've been very, very good, because we have all been ALF-isolating. Oh, yes. All safely yes. together in our little bubble of yes. 112,000 mm. in our lovely family unit. Just us, the elves, and not forgetting our wonderful reindeers. Oh, the reindeers. We mustn't forget the reindeers, must we? We really mustn't. Well, we've been working very, very hard on how we are going to come and see you this year. We really have. What's that I hear? You haven't been good. I hope you've been good, because if you're very, very good, we will obviously come and see you. Now, even if you haven't been good, if you can be very good from now on, then that will be fine. And we will come and see as many of you as we can. We certainly will. But firstly, before we can come and see anyone, we need to know who is out there. That's all of you out there. So what we're going to do now is after the count of three, this is very important, so please listen to this. After the count of three, I want you to say your names as loudly as you can. Are we ready? So don't forget, I will count to three, and as loud as you can, I want you to shout your names out so Mrs. Christmas can hear, and then what Mrs. Christmas will do is write your names down. Right, here we go. One, two, three, Go! Shout loud, everybody. I think I can even hear them, to be honest. Oh, there's a lot of names, Santa. I hope my pen doesn't run out. Oh, we've got lots of pens. Don't worry, we've got lots of pens. Oh, you're, you're writing out a lot of names there, Mrs. Christmas. I know, I'm getting arm ache. Oh. Well, well, well. Well, I, well, so who have you got there then, Mrs. Christmas? Well, I think I've got them all down centre. Uh, yeah, Let well, let's, let's hear. I've got Tilly, Mandy, Tilly. James. Richard, Susie, Louise, Aaron, Leone, Anna and Deborah, not wow. forgetting Emma, Peter, Anne, Chrissy, Julia, Rob, Tonya, Claire and Piers, Pippa, Kelly, Lorraine, wow. Harry, Catherine, Morag and Lindsay, and Ava, Tom, Olivia, Amelia, George, Noah, Isla, Jessica, and Oliver. Wow, there's a lot of names there, Mrs. Christmas. I think I'll stop you there. There is a lot of names. Now, the most important names, though, do you know who the most important are out there? You. All of you. You are all so important. And we're going to do our utmost to try and get to you all this year. We really, really are. And so you've got to give us some idea of what presents you would like us to leave for you this year or little treats. Now, speaking of presents, 
I have a little joke here. Oh. Right. What is the best Christmas present in the world? I don't know, Santa. What is the best Christmas present in the world? A broken drum. Oh, they get worse every year. Have you no better jokes? I haven't said the punchline yet. The punchline is, you can't beat it, a broken drum. Just, just give up <laughs> on your jokes, please. They are silly, aren't they? They really do get worse every year. But anyway, have a little think what you would like for Christmas and write it down in the usual way. And of course, you can leave them. You can leave your lists either up the chimney so that when I'm coming down the chimney, I can make sure I've got everything on that list. You can leave them by the front door, the back door. Yes, you can, you can post them in those special red boxes. You can, you can leave anything there. Now, I've got a lot of powers and I'm well equipped. I am well equipped to find out where you live. So please don't worry. Now, he has got very special powers. Have I? He is, you know. He has the power to get out of the washing up, oh. the cleaning, oh. and most of all, clearing up after those reindeers. Clearing up after the reindeers, uh, well, they're not that messy, are they? I've always got a little spade and bucket he with me to just do in it case. Christmas Eve. Well, 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 I say. Well, speaking of that, dear, I'm going to need some help when we deliver the presents this year. Now, is there any possible way that you could give me a hand, do you think, this oh, year? Oh, yes, please, Santa. I would love to help. Oh, that would be absolutely lovely. Now, my friends, you can help me a bit by leaving out some hand sanitizer, which we will use to put on our hands, OK? And we'll make sure that everything is very, very safe. So, and we'll leave everything clean for you. So please don't worry because with this snow, ro oh, sorry, coronavirus, we've got to be very, very careful. Now, Christmas time is always a time to think of others. And this one especially is very, very important. Now, make sure you see everyone that you can and think of everyone that you can and there's ways of doing that like well, you're looking at us now you can get on your little mobile phones or your ipads or whatever and link in with people and say hello like we are to you so there's lots of ways of doing this now i'm very sad that i can't be there in person at our favorite grotto this year of course at acorn village now acorn means a lot to us and we always love coming along to acorn and meeting loads and loads of children and their mums and dads but of course this year we can't do that now what i will say is now acorn does a lot of work for a lot of people and they rely on a lot of volunteers and so i would like to personally say thank you to everyone at acorn whether you work at acorn as a member of staff whether you're a volunteer whether you help out or anything you are all so so special you really are and you all do such a fantastic job and what I will say is, if there's anyone out there who can support Acorn in any way, whether it's saving a few pennies in a little jar, or you're doing a special sponsored walk, or a sponsored swim even, anything like that at all to raise money, because Acorn does need a few pennies, because it will help so many people, and Acorn is such a special place. So if you can do that, that would be absolutely lovely. But as I say, we are very sorry that we can't be there in person this year, but we will be thinking of you all. We really, really will. Now, I say, now what do you think, Mrs. Christmas? Do you think that we ought to sing a little Christmas song? Yeah! Oh! Now, are you all going to join in with this? Come are on, you everybody. all going to join in? Right, now, 
This is a Christmas song called We Wish You a Merry Christmas. And we do wish we everyone do. a Merry yes. Christmas, don't we? Yes. Now, are you ready for this? As loud as you can, we'll do a couple of verses of We Wish You a Merry Christmas. Now, are you ready, Mrs. I'm ready. Christmas? I've never heard Mrs. Christmas sing before, so this is going to be interesting, isn't it? Right, okay. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your King. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yeah. Now don't forget, be very, very good, and we will see you soon. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. Look Merry after yourselves. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye-bye.